Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Thanks so much for joining me for your March Love Tarot entitled How Do They Feel About You? This will be a four card love reading, having a look to see how your love interest is currently feeling about you, your connection, uh, the relationship. Um, it is a general reading, but I do hope there's uh, something here in, in this message that'll give you a little bit of clarity. Um, and a little bit of insight into the situation and this person's feelings. Um, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like, a share, a subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, let's have a look and see how this person is feeling about the situation, Sagittarius. Uh, how do they feel? Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, the sign that has come up is the Cancer with the Chariot here. So someone is definitely getting attached. Uh, there's some sort of attachment here happening. So Sagittarius, you're definitely evoking this sort of emotional connection from someone here. Um, they want to progress and move things forward, but there's something here that they're a little bit unsure about. Okay, that's something that they still think about here, and I'm thinking it's that Five of Swords. Not sure if it's an air sign, what's happening here. Um, or mentally they haven't let go of someone or it's that they're still holding on to something you've said and it's making them a little bit unsure it might have been something you expressed okay it could have been like a difference of opinion it might have been that you accidentally said you you know you're still in contact with an ex or you know whether it was intentional or intentional it's something to do with communication or your thought pattern that's making them a little bit unsure I think for the most part, they really are building a very strong emotional attraction towards you, Sag. But I think what's happening here is that someone feels like there's something that's still troubling them. Okay, something they're unsure about. Now, I don't know if it's anything to do with communication or language barriers or the fact that you can't talk about something. Or maybe it's the fact that you still talk to an ex. Maybe they still talk to an ex. You know, he looks back to the past. He looks back to quite an emotional situation here. So I'm wondering what this could be. They can't move past something here, or they feel like you haven't been able to move past it. Maybe they feel like you keep bringing something up. Whether it's in the past, in the distant past, in the recent past, whether this is something that's come up, and it's almost like an issue, a, a topic that can't be avoided. And it is, I think, for the most part, a bit of an issue for this person. But like I said, I think it's only minor because the other cards really indicate that this person is coming into a healthy state. Um, you know, the chariot is all about progression and I feel overcoming obstacles. So there's something that they're determined to work through with you. Again, I do want to mention for some of you, the showmanship of the chariot, the symbolism here is that he would ride through the towns or cities or villages, um, I guess to, uh, to, to flaunt his success. Okay. To flaunt the treasure he brought back. Um, to flaunt the fact that he was still alive after battle, for example, um, to showcase that, that, that those strengths. And I think in one way, in this particular case, what I'm picking up, I think, is the fact that this person is doing something for show. Now, this could be interpreted in a multitude of ways. This person could be putting on a bit of a show for you, um, you know, fancy clothes, nice dates, you know, trying to put their best foot forward, as we all do. When we start dating or start to connect someone or, or, or reconnecting with someone, we're always on our best behavior. So maybe this is what this person is trying to do here. Um, I feel like with the with with that, I feel like if, if it's not, you know, them sort of putting this elaborate display then there's, there's, it's almost like they're, they're keeping up appearances maybe to your friends or family. And that's not saying that they're not sincere, but I think maybe they want to keep things private. Um, it could also be that someone wants to pick up the pieces with you again. So if this is an ex coming through, it's definitely someone that wants a second chance. New beginnings here. Um, the bird is the messenger, so it may be someone that wants to hear from you. Maybe this elaborate display is a bit of a, 
a, a trick of theirs to sort of reel you in against Sagittarius. So some of you might start to notice this sort of behavior. They might be visiting the places you used to love. They might be starting hobbies when they know that you like to do these things. Uh, they may be bumping into you at the places they know where you're at. So again, it's some sort of display. Um, it could also be that they're showing you that they've changed, maybe. But the Chariot card is acceleration, is movement, so there is someone who wants to move forward with you. And the Ace of Cups often carries a religious connotation, such as marriage, commitment, moving in together, some sort of symbolism of a union here. So um, I think that's coming up around this person. They definitely want that with you. But I think right now, as much as they want those things, they're taking things one day at a time. The Nine of Pentacles is all about being in the present moment and just taking in the moment. You can see it's a very picturesque energy here. Uh, the vineyard, the, the abundant and lush vineyard, the falconry happening here with the bird, um, the, the lavish garments, you know, it's just it's so encapsulated in the moment here. So I think in one way, this may appeal to you because you often can... Um, progress relationships in this way that's often your style Sag uh, but I feel like they do want a future and they are seeing these things but I'm wondering what this is that they're sort of hung up on or still thinking about um, and if that's not the case then it's picking up the pieces and working through something here they feel you've come into their life for a, for a reason you know, this is the hand of God, and whether they're spiritual, religious, whether whether they believe in divine intervention or uh, anything of the spiritual or esoteric realm, they could they could definitely be feeling this. You know, Ace of Cups is a beautiful, big new chapter. There's someone here who's potentially falling in love. Cancerian energy is all about um, a very very strong attachment here, but we can also read it as someone who feels a little bit closed off. The, the cancer is represented by the crab that shell protects him or her. So I don't know if there's something, if this is making this person be somewhat protective. You know, the fact that they've got the, the, the chariot here, you know, the shell of this apparatus, if you will, is protecting him. So is there someone that feels like they need to protect themselves from you? Is there someone that perhaps feels they need to be protective over you? It can be seen as jealousy, maybe. Uh, it can be that someone feels a little bit possessive or starting to feel possessive over you. You might start to see these things in the physical uh, play out. But the cancer energy can also be the past, past attachments, past feelings. There's definitely someone here who is in your past, but they've never lost feelings for you, Sag. Uh, they're still attached, whether or not you were with together, uh, whether or not you were together for a very long time or a very short time, it was enough time to form an attachment of some kind. Um, and this isn't always dedicated by time. It's it's really dependent on their attachment style, um, what you provided for them, if you filled any voids, if you gave them what they wanted or what they were searching for, whether consciously or subconsciously. On some level, you delivered that Sagittarius, and this is why they're still feeling emotionally attached to you. There's definitely someone here who wants to pick up communication again, reconnect, um, and go forward here. But for those that do not involve an ex and it's someone brand new that you're dating or courting or just married to or whatever is the case, there might be something here from the past that comes or resurfaces. If that's not the case and I feel like they're hung up on something here, they're trying to take things day by day. So I feel like attitude-wise or outlook-wise, they're feeling pretty good, but mentally it still crosses their mind. It's not something that they were able to erase and completely forget about here, Sag. So maybe some of you know what I'm talking about. Maybe some of you don't. It, you know, it won't apply to everyone. But nonetheless, I do hope it's given you a little bit of um, a little bit of insight. I mean, the Ace of Cups, this this outpouring of water. I mean, this is someone feeling overjoyed or wanting to feel this with you. So they're obviously wanting to share a very deep bond. Maybe they want to see you give a back, Saj. Black and white, it's all about reciprocity. The yin balances the yang. So maybe that's what they're waiting on, for you to return the feelings, for you to return the acts, the words, the behavior. I will leave your reading at that, though, Sagittarius. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to leave behind a like, a share, or a subscribe if you have. Um, 
thank you so much for doing that. Uh, thanks again. And until next time, bye for now.